Hey, uh, I was wondering if it was possible that I could maybe reserve a dorm room for the night? For the night? Uh, uh, yeah, me and my girlfriend are just, uh, we kind of wanted some one-on-one -on -one time and have been trouble having like in intimacy, so I was wondering if I could reserve a room for a night. Is that possible? I'm a student here. Yeah, yeah, but for that, I think you've got to call the housing. Housing? Yeah. So there's no way that I could just pay you some cash and that you could nah. keep us for a night? You, no? You've got to call them and let them know so they can uh, purple room for you. Okay. Because like, uh, we here, we only just give them like, even other. Yeah, for now, I don't think so. You can put reserves. Like, okay. Uh, like, you just like a minute reserve because Okay. Okay. So there's no way that I could just get a room for a night, just to have some intimacy possible. with my girlfriend. I think it's possible, but you gotta just call them. Okay. Like you need to like, uh, the room. But there's no way that you could do this right now. Mm -hmm. can't. You can't. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Appreciate it. Hey, excuse me. Uh, I was wondering if I could possibly reserve all the basketball courts for tomorrow in here. Is that possible? I just, I wanted one-on-one -on -one time with myself to get better. Yeah, so, um, there's a couple ways that you can go about reserving facility space. Can I reserve the entire thing though? It's probably not likely for the basketball courts, no? no. What do you guys have that I could, maybe the, <laughs> the rock wall? <laughs> the whole rock wall? Yeah. Um, just trying to get better climbing. reserve the entire place, just, it's going to like at least Okay. Uh, we have facilities scheduled for two because they're new. Okay, okay. Uh, to rent out that space, and that's <laughs> it. So we can. Yeah, okay. So there's no way I can get reserved like the whole basketball court by noon tomorrow? Tomorrow facilities scheduled. We'll find out what else we have going on, correct that day, what's going on that week. Okay. Would it be possible if I show up and kick people off the basketball court? Is that, do I, would I have that authority to if I'm like, hey, like, I haven't talked to these people? No. Can I just no. Keep them? no? No? no. I mean, it, you can't use our name. Like, we, we didn't give you first. Yes, okay, okay. Yeah, okay. like we're telling you no. Okay. Thank you. Question, so I'm in a French class. I'm really struggling right now, and I was wondering if I could possibly like rent out all the books in the French department, like the French section. Is that, I'm just really trying to learn. Um, I mean, I can definitely take you to our French section. Uh, it's not guaranteed that you'd be able to rent all of them. You might have to apply. Um, I purchased some, but I can definitely take you over there if you want to Okay, uh, no, it's okay. I can look um, for myself. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, could I rent them out? I, I mean, I continue doing this like for a while now. Is it possible I could rent them out maybe for like five years? Oh, five or so yeah. years? What's the duration on that? Five, six years maybe? Is there a way that I could just do that all at once? Like five years from now, I'll bring this back? Okay. So we don't need to have like a score for next semester and the next semester. Okay. We're going to be needing more like the library. Huh. Oh, so okay. Because the bookstore, we, we will only sell books to you. Okay. And there's no limit to how many books I could rent out? At the library? Uh, and here at the oh, bookstore? But you're paying for it. Yes. It's not rentable yeah. by the library. So if a book is $50, then we'll rent it to you for $30. Um, you pay the $30 if you don't get it back. Is there is there any way that I could like not pay for that? Maybe like come in and do like work instead? I think you are looking for the library. Okay, okay. Because books here you can't be in the aisles taking you get, to the You guys you guys don't do like uh, books for service or something? Where I could like work and pay that off instead of like paying out the front? No? Hey. Hello. Um, Hello. Just looking for maybe a small book. Yeah, absolutely. I was wondering like um just been really attached to it. You can maybe throw like a small shot of fireball in there. Oh, okay. so um, you guys have that? We don't carry that. Do not? Um, Is there any like something like spicy or maybe just to pump me up? Yeah. You guys have anything well, like that? We certainly have espresso Our shots. Liquor? Well, you could go to uh, the bar downstairs. <laughs> okay. There is okay. one. Okay. You guys couldn't, like, if I go to the bar with, like, a shot, you couldn't mix that in there? I don't know if I sell shots, I mean, it's just pure. Okay. That's also true. Okay. You might have to, uh, just take that upon yourself. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So you guys can assist with that? Uh, no, but if you want an espresso shot, that's one thing I can. 
to rent out like Where? all the rooms on the first floor tomorrow about noon is that um, something possible um, um me and study room? yeah yeah um my uh, me and my buddies are thinking about playing like a big game okay so if you want to check out multiple rooms first but it's like time hour you're gonna have multiple people you're gonna need to have multiple people check out those rooms okay and you said you need it for when uh like noon tomorrow, tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if they're all going to be open. <laughs> how how time, many? So do you know how many would be open? Yeah, I can, can check what rooms are. The available. max amount for the first floor. You yeah, can we do all on the first floor, please? Um, yeah, we can place an express on your account. So it looks like there's only one open tomorrow. Okay, we'll do a uh, okay. Could maybe? I would can I rent that one out? How many of you guys have on the second floor? Yeah. In the third floor? Do you guys have any study rooms up there? Yeah, I can check. If I have academic approval for this from my department, is there any way to like cancel all those rooms no. for other people? No, it's not possible. Not, no. Okay. At least not at the library. So. Okay, but if I get like approval from like the registrar office, is that possible that I could cancel everyone else's rooms? No. No. <laughs> no, just because there are already reservations that were made by other students. Okay. Hey, excuse me, dude. Yep. Um. I don't have any toilet paper. Would oh. you mind maybe giving me a little bit? Sorry, I know this is really weird, but no, um, no, sorry. Can you call the front desk? They can probably help you out. Um, I, I don't know their number. Do you? Do you? I know this is really weird, but do you yeah. mind just maybe pass me a little bit? Sorry. You know what? Yeah, 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 dude, of course. Okay, cool, thank you, thank you. There you go. Sweet, sweet. Thanks, man. Maybe a little bit more? Uh, uh, yeah, you know what, you're right, yeah, yeah. Sweet, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, this should cover it. Thanks, bro. No hey. How's it going? Um, I'm just walking around seeing um, like what buildings I can get access to and I saw this lab and I was wondering if I could maybe see what kind of equipment you guys use by chance in here. I was just kind of curious. Oh, uh, are you student here? Uh, I go, I'm in the College of Business, but okay. I'm not a science major. I was okay, of, so you just kind of wondered. What yeah, I was just kind of wondering if you guys were what kind of equipment you guys are working with, so. Okay, uh, sure. Um, give me one second. Okay. I have to grab something for you. Okay, cool. Sweet, thank you. All right, I'm just go ahead and put these Sweet. guys on. Sweet, thank you. Yeah, everyone so, has to put this on to get in? Yeah, so it's kind of like, uh, as you can probably see right here, it says pretty required to be on this point. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So we kind of got these signs up, so okay. like what you need to have before you come to the labs. Okay. And, uh, and just as we deal with the variety of stuff, you kind of cool. So, uh, okay. We have people 
back there. But we have like Joe I mean, Jean. Can we possibly go back there? Uh, I'm, I'm just interested in, I mean. Yeah, I know you want to take a look. Yeah. I would, but on today, unfortunately not. No? No. Uh, okay. Just because we got people that are working with radioactive material okay. for your safety. Uh, since you don't have the training and stuff like that, yeah. you can't actually go in there. Hey, so. so I just completed all of my rejection therapy um, videos, and um, now I'm going to reflect on my experience a little bit. So did the rejection therapy work for me? Um, in some, yes, in others, no. The only two that really worked, or the only three that really worked for me were the uh, Forgot Wallet at Home video at Taco Bell. Um, the, the lady was so nice enough where she decided to just use her own money to pay for my meal instead. And um, she insisted and I couldn't get out of it. Um, for the toilet paper, um, the gentleman next to me was kind enough to hand me toilet paper, and even when I asked for more, he still gave me more. For the lab equipment, um, Chris, the guy in the lab, um, was so generous to show me the lab and, and give me a tour. However, at the end, he did reject me because I was not um, able to go into a room full of um, hazardous materials. So um, it did work, yes and no. Um, the ones that didn't work were um, the book loan, the alcoholic coffee, renting out all the study rooms in the library and reserving all the basketball courts just because a lot of those things are out of the control of the actual employees. Like um, the, the, the coffee shop does not supply alcohol nor can they put alcohol in it because they don't have a liquor license. Um, um, reserving all the basketball courts and renting out all the study rooms. Obviously, that's a conflict with other people and, and the people that I was talking to didn't have that power, nor is that really feasible. Um, so um, did I, I, I guess I did grow a little bit of a thick skin a little bit. I was I was very nervous after the, the first uh, attempt, however, um, which the first attempt was the Taco Bell one. Um, I kind of grew a little bit of, of skin around me and I was like, wow, this isn't as bad as I expected. And it made the other ones really much easier. Um, um, and, and I do agree that this is a good way um, to overcome the fear of failure, because if we do not try, if we do not ask the questions, if we don't at least give it an attempt, we'll never know. And really, I didn't expect much. Yes, I expected about a 50 50 percent a success rate which was true but um and, and a lot of them because i was asking for um outrageous things i knew the answer was going to be no but in, in some of them like the free food and the toilet paper and getting a tour like things that you necessarily wouldn't think people would do uh, they ended up doing which was very surprising to me and as long as you weren't asking for anything outrageous like trying to you know take loans out for five years or rent out all the study rooms or all the basketball courts you were most likely going to get a yes from them or at least the employee or person you're talking to would at least try to help you figure it out a lot of everyone that i was encountered um, was really good at communicating and they all wanted to help me um, so that was really good. My perception of rejection did change a little bit over the course of this experiment. Um, and I learned a lot. Um, 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 I guess when I started it, I expected to get rejected more and I thought it was going to be harder than it was, but it was actually easier than I expected, especially after the first one. It, it, it was really easy to just keep going. It was almost like, um, you know, doing it. I, I filmed all of it in one day, all during like, uh, within a one or two hour period. So, um, doing it back to back was, was, was really, really helpful. Um, and, uh, I learned a lot about rejection that, you know, that a lot of people actually, um, not only me, but a lot of people who are, um, I'm, I'm talking to, they don't know how to respond to such outrageous requests. And a lot of the people, um, <clears throat> ended up, um, not really just saying no. Some of them did say no towards the end, but no one really just straight up said no. A lot of them would continue talking and, and want to figure it out, which I really, really enjoyed. It made it much the experience much easier and better. But um, I realized that a lot of people in general on both sides don't really like rejection. They don't like receiving or giving rejection. And um, that was interesting to see. And the experience made me feel very, um, it made me feel very good, especially after the Taco Bell one where, you know, the lady paid for my food. I, I gave her a, uh, gave her some money, about 20 bucks after that. And I paid for my meal and gave her an extra 10 bucks because I was like, wow, you're so generous. Like you deserve this. You're so kind. And she was overcome with emotion and she was just so happy. So I'm glad I got to be part of that. 
So what kind of strategies did I develop to overcome my fear of failure? Um, I'm not going to lie, a lot of them I, I almost uh, started to laugh because a lot of them were very funny. Um, and I wanted to keep myself as serious and as straight face as possible. And I did in all of the videos. And a lot of people, because of that, took me seriously, even though I said some really outrageous things that most people wouldn't request for. And um, just being myself was really the best way to overcome that feel of fear of failure, knowing that I'm doing this for a purpose also realized and in, in that there's a there's a there's a goal to this i re remembered in my mind that there's a purpose to this and i'm and i'm trying to test myself and see how far i can get into um um in, into the conversation until they say no so progressing the conversation um until they say no was was my was my was my motivation for overcoming this fear um and, and to minimize that probability of rejection was definitely hard um but um to minimize it, I also progressively um, asked for more. I, I didn't just go and straight in and, and ask for the most ridiculous thing. Um, I kind of worked my way up and said, what about this or that? And then they started to be like, okay, like, no, I can't really do that. So like, my experiences can be applied to a business context um, where companies might face the similar fears of rejection and failure. And what I say to them is that um, because there is a big difference, however, the, the, the theory is essentially the same, but the difference is, is massive, especially when you're working on in, in a business that, you know, the goal is to make money and, and failure can occur. You can get fired from your job. You can lose a lot of um, strategic co competitive advantage in companies. You know, company, it, it's not a place where you can just... Um, it, well, I mean, it is a place where you can host your ideas, but in, in, in executing those deal in, in executing those ideas, companies have to bear, be very strategic with what um, ideas they decide to, to pursue. However, in this um, experiment, um, there was no loss. I couldn't really lose. The worst someone could say was is no, but in a business context, um, no is not the only rejection you receive. It's a financial loss. It's a, you lose your job. Um, there's a lot of loss in, in business. Um, and it's not practical to go around, you know, doing what I'm doing um, here, trying to find a no, but having that creativity and innovation behind what you do and, and, and being creative um, and asking questions and trying your luck and, and pushing that is definitely um, is definitely good. And it, it makes good leaders good leaders. And it makes those who own multi-million, billion dollar companies like Amazon and, and Google what they are today is because they were able to to be creative and, and, and take that risk. And I think business and humans, we all need that risk. Um, and, and without it, life is not really, is not fulfilling.